All right, morning everyone. Um, so what I'm going to do today is uh, modify these ramps. So I've only used them once and um, my floor in my garage is quite smooth and slippery and shiny. So these just wanted to keep walking away. Um, so what I'm going to do, had a bit of a, well the old man actually put me onto it because he was here when I was trying to get up and he uses them for work as well. Um, and what he's got is like a, a mat, I think it's rubber, his one, I can't remember, but um, yeah, he's got a mat attached to him so that when you drive, um, as, you're, as you're approaching it with your wheels, um, the, the car, the front of the car, the front tyres are on already on this mat and because the mat is attached to the ramp, the weight of the car is stopping this from moving and then, so it can't move and it worked out really well. Uh, we used some rubber. Uh, some rubber mat that I had um, and it wasn't even attached it was just this was resting on it and once the pressure got down it just didn't allow it to slip away and it worked really well but what I'm going to do is use the these are the rear rear floor mats out of the Tirana which is now gone um, so that way the Tirana will live on um, and uh, yeah so it should be good so what I'm going to do uh, I found that so that's going to be my washer essentially cut it in half I need, I need two of them, um, drill a hole, drill a hole, I'm going to use rib nuts, I reckon that'll be strong enough, it, it's not going to have a lot of pulling power, I think it's mainly the car's going to be doing most of the work, like I said we, we've done this and we did it without even attaching the mat to the ramp and it didn't pull away, so uh, this is just to keep it all together, so yeah I'll use rib nuts and some stainless uh, bolts, so that, that's the only thing you're going to be running over. And because I'll be putting them in in these bits, plenty of room, uh, it won't it won't be scratching the floor. So that's my theory anyway. So cut that in half. I'm just going to use a hacksaw. It's a quick quick little job. Um, bang bang, and we'll see how we go. Right, oh, so got the nuts so it's in. They went pretty well. That's the uh, best I've ever. Pretty sure they're in. Yeah, no, they're in. They're not going to come out. You can see that one's actually like stretched plastic, so she's in pretty tight. I've drilled holes in here. Um, I've got these ready to go. Um, so we'll try and put it together. Let's have a look. Just got some spring washers. Uh, they're going to go through there. They're going to go through there. There's not a lot of thread, but it, it will spring because of the spring washer. Just see if it catches. I don't have any longer bolts. I'm kind of doing this with what I've got. The carpet's pretty thick too. There we go. So then I'll, I'll just go and get a spanner. Um, yeah, I'll go and get a spanner. It's going good. Yep. They don't need to be too tight. Ooh, that one just popped off, I think. Here we go. Yeah, there's plenty of thread in there. Yeah, just once that um, once that spring washer collapses a bit, we're good. I think it has, yep, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, you can really really wrench down on those nut sets that's quite good so yeah that's it so that's um that's the finished product um, you could go from the bottom if you wanted to um, I didn't because I didn't want anything scratching my floor because I've got kind of like an epoxy floor so I didn't want these because if you go from there you're gonna have to go here and then yeah it's not gonna work so these are hidden there step uh, behind behind that line there so that works well so I'll do the other one uh, I'm not going to test them today because I don't need to put the car on the ramps, but I reckon that's going to that's going to do really good. That's going to work perfect. So yeah, I'll just quickly do the other one. Okay, all tidied up, everything's away, and yeah, we're all done. So all good. That was a uh, nice little quick job. Uh, that should make a big difference because 
kind of what we're thinking is so if you were just to drive up on that ramp now and push it see it moves but if you're putting weight on on the mat and then driving up can't go anywhere because the the weight of the car is holding the mat down which is attached to the ramp so yeah and like i said it worked it worked even uh without the thing that we were using before it wasn't these things it was some thick rubber foam actually it was like a yoga mat or something so yeah it all squished down and kind of did the same thing but this this is going to be much better so um next job we'll use just make sure the boss is all right you're good mate yep done all right is that safety enough for you thanks mate um so yeah the, the next thing we'll use it on is the the wagon needs a service uh it's not quite due for it so another couple hundred k's i think i've got so yeah we'll test them out on that uh the little i20s just had a service and i'm down to two cars and that's the least amount of cars i've ever had which is good and bad i suppose um but yeah um just check the carco website and um the tirana is is live on the website they've put it on car sales and they put it on their own carco website so if you want to have a look go and check it out on that and um yeah i, I haven't seen it it's been on facebook through carco uh, i can't find it on auto trader and it's meant to be on one more website after that i can't remember what it's called but car sales and carco are the main the main ones so as long as it's on car, car sales and it's probably the most popular one because that's all dealers feed into that carco is their own website uh, so yeah it's probably more important that it's on car sales uh, rather than anything else so yeah but uh, yeah all good alright guys thanks for that we'll catch you later